What is happening, guys? Matt Ogus here. It is December 19th, 2019, 6 o'clock in the evening. And I've got these new lights set up over here. So I hope this looks decent. Uh, this is my one and only take for this video. We'll see how this goes. This video honestly has one purpose, one goal, and that is to speak directly towards one individual. And of course, to all of you guys to join me in getting this ball rolling because for those who have been following this channel for a while, uh, who've been following me for a while, especially back from 2012, 2013, you know what this is. And uh, if we can accomplish this goal together of getting this rolling, those who weren't in that little golden era back then are in for a hell of a ride. So, without further ado, I, Matt Ogus, December 19th, 2019, challenge Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. I'm gonna shout out your brand over there, bro. Uh, Chris Jones, I challenge you to a bodybuilding show in 2020. Me and you on stage doing what we do to essentially go full circle with what had begun in 2012. For those who were here way back then, you know what's up. But for the new guys who have not been following either of us for, for all that long, we had this intense, deep <laughs> rivalry going on that started off friendly. Uh, Chris Jones had challenged me to a bodybuilding show back in 2012. I think he was like buying protein out of Walmart and uh, just say, hey, Matt Ogus, I challenge you to a bodybuilding show. And then I made a response video. I was like, Chris Jones, hell yeah, dude, let's, let's do this. You better come in so shredded. There better be lines in your glutes. You better be <laughs> this, that, and this. And we made several different videos back and forth, kind of challenging and coaxing each other, lifting videos and all that sort of fun stuff. And whether that happens or not this year in terms of these random challenges, uh, honestly, what I would like to see happen is what was supposed to happen in 2013. Um, we were both preparing for this one specific show in Sacramento, California. We were both dieting. We both got into incredibly great shape. Uh, but somewhere along the line, uh, Chris Jones decided that he was not going to compete. Uh, whether it was through personal issues or just just stuff he had to handle, work, business, etc. Um, I didn't really get deep into asking him why he had dropped out, but it didn't really matter. He decided to drop out, and I continued. I did the show. I uh, got first in my class. Uh, didn't win my pro card, and that was that. It was honestly the one of the biggest shows I had ever seen in terms of uh, people supporting it. Like people flew in from freaking Australia and Asia and all around the country to check this show out because we had hyped it up so much. It was nuts, it was crazy. But um, man, it would have been really great uh, had we actually you know, competed against each other. It, it, it would have been dope. So that's, that's what honestly, I, 2020. 2020 let's do it dude and um you know i i know that both of us have had some a lot of life happening in these last couple of years he has a daughter now i have a son now uh he's he's busy running his business i'm busy just doing whatever the fuck i'm doing over here um and you know we both had we both have had um, accomplishments and setbacks and we've both had injuries uh, I had this fucking wrist thing that I'm still recovering from fucking Chris Lovato and Chris Elkins took me to top anyways uh, we've both had injuries over the years we've both come back and we've both likely um, we, we both are likely able hopefully to bring our best physiques ever next year, you know, now that we're both relatively healthy, I believe. Um, you know, I think Chris, and actually, you know, I asked him, and uh, I, I believe that 
he typically does like a summer shred of sorts. And I think based on how he felt and looked, he was planning on maybe doing a couple shows. But Chris, dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. The people want this shit. The people want to see us compete against each other, finally. Wherever, where, wherever, whenever, whether it's in, you know, April, May, June, July, or August, I am down for any one of those months. Uh, I'm down to do it in Texas, California, any state in between. Um, you know, I think we could probably sit down and talk this out and pick a show that would probably be the best uh, for this type of thing. You know, most, I think, WMBF shows these days are... Uh, based on weight classes, and you definitely weigh a lot. You'll definitely, you outmuscle the shit out of me. Uh, so you're probably going to be, you know, 10, 15 pounds heavier than me on stage. So you'll probably be in a different weight class. Uh, so if we did a show, a typical WMBF show, we would both have to essentially win our classes to battle it out in an overall, or we could go and do a show where they put us in high classes and I believe we're both relatively the same height. Uh, I'm just under six foot up six. <laughs> I was gonna say six seven. I'm just under five seven, and I believe that Chris is right at or just under five. I honestly forget if we're the same height or who's taller. I really don't know if we're the same height or who's taller. I think we're both around the same height, like both around five seven, um, or just slightly under five seven. I forget. But, um, you know, certain, certain organizations, uh, drug test organizations do by height. I think most do by weight class. Uh, so I'd be down for either one, you know. Logistically, we would have to win our classes, though, at most shows and then battle it out in the overall. So it, it really just depends. I, I think, you know, usually the overalls, I guess it depends, but those seem to go by a little bit quicker because there's only three people on stage. So I think if we wanted to get the most amount of time on stage for people to compare us uh, at like a legitimate show, not like a backdoor or backyard event, which we can also do. I'm also down for some backyard fucking <laughs> random event or whatever, some meetup, whatever. But I, I do think if we were doing, I, I'd prefer and I'd, I think the best case scenario would be a WMBF pro qualifier. Maybe even a WNBF like super pro qualifier. Just knowing the you know the audiences that we have, we could probably if we wanted to kind of support the organization uh, of our choice in this way, we could get hell of people to compete too in that in that too. But it, it's really up to us. And I know we'll, you know we could have this conversation later. I guess the main thing, of course, that we'll have to get first is whether you are down for this or not. And honestly, I, I understand either way. I understand if this is like just too much unnecessary pressure. I get it, especially as a father now. Like I, I fucking get it. Uh, but I honestly think that this would be dope. This would be so, 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 so cool. And I know a lot of our fans and all of our supporters, our friends, however you want to call the people that follow us, whatever names you got for them, um, our homies, they fucking love to see this shit. Uh, whether they're shit talking or not, whether there's some deep rivalry or not, they would love to see this shit. And uh, knowing that we're like just a lot more mature than we were back in 2012 and 2013. We've seen a lot of the world, man. We've seen a lot of the world. We've done a lot of growing up. Uh, I, I bet that we could keep it, um, we could keep it, you know, rivals, some deep rivalry, Batman, Superman type shit. Um, but at the same time, you know, keep it, uh, keep it mature and keep it um, like sustainable and, and whatnot. Because man, we had some fucking arguments back in the day, man. We had some, we won't even get into that. We had some arguments, and that's what made it so real and fun and, and crazy. And that's why it was just such a disappointment that it wasn't able to actually come to fruition in 2013 like it was supposed to. So, um, you know. I feel sorry for the kids who weren't here to witness 2012, 2013. They're like, what the fuck's going on? Um, but, you know, you could you could Google this shit up and you'll find out uh, what, you know, all, all the fun and the commotion, what that was back in 2012, 2013. So, dude, Chris, I respect you, man. You've done a lot for yourself, for your family, your business. You've 
grinded. You've literally grinded. You've grinded much more than me. You've put in so much work. Uh, you've helped so many people. And I honestly, I, I look up to you. I respect you. And, um, you know, in previous, like 2012, 2013, I can look back and see that I was just this little green kid, you know, thought he knew the world, thought he had hypertrophy figured out, all this shit. And I remember talking to you like you were some dumb motherfucker. And man, it was like we had your camp, my camp. And I, I swear, dude, we could have hosted a gang war if we wanted to. That shit was crazy. But, um, you know, we have a much older fan base now, much more mature fan base. And in general, I think, since we've been around for longer. But uh, they would fucking love to see this shit. They would love to see this shit. As simple as that. So, without any... I, I don't need to drag this on. Uh, Chris, if you're watching this, you know, take your time. Think about it. Uh, maybe get back to me in a video or, or whatever it might be. I think this shit would be dope. Um, let me know. Uh, for those who are our supporters or for those who are just popping into this video you know give give chris some kind words dude uh let him know that you got his back and uh let him know that he can do this you know doing a bodybuilding show is is not a simple feat it, it really isn't and i know i said i was gonna end this video but man doing a bodybuilding show is not some simple ass shit like it's actually a huge 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 commitment um if you you know do the whole thing uh, me challenging Chris Jones to a bodybuilding show, you know, even if he was planning on getting lean in 2020 next year for summer, uh, it's the difference between you know seven to eight percent body fat, lean, looking good, you know, ho ready, and all that. It's 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 not crazy crazy painful to get there, you know, eight percent body fat, but to get that six or five percent or possibly lower for some people you know, that level of body fat for the stage, shredded glutes, it is painful, man. It drains you. It takes much more time, much more time to get those last few pounds off. It is so painful on a fucking spiritual level. It is painful. And you're constantly flexing your willpower and it slowly gets sucked from you. But, um, but that's what natural bodybuilding is. It's like this battle of attrition almost. It's like how long can you just stick it out, at least when it comes to you know getting yourself to the show. Now on stage, there's nothing else you can really do besides pose the best you possibly can. But um, but yeah, man, I, uh, I was honestly like, I, I wanted to make this video for a couple months now. I honestly wanted to make this video for a couple months and um, I, I couldn't find the right moment or I was like, oh man, I want to be fucking cinematic and all these sorts of things. I'm telling you guys, like, if you wait forever, you're not going to accomplish, you're not going to set forth these paths in life that are possible for you. If you constantly wait for the right moment, for the right knowledge, for all this planning, you know, plan, plan things out, but you do have to take, take action. And that's what this video is doing here. So I hope that you can, I guess... Um, you know, get something or take something from that. This wasn't easy for me to make this video because I've been kind of tiptoeing around it. I've been kind of nudging Chris over these last few months. I've been like, dude, hey man, you thinking about next year? How's it going? Um, and you know, he's like, yeah, dude, I'm thinking about it, blah, blah, blah. But you know, this is kind of my form of pulling the trigger with this video. And um, dude, there's so much more I could say and want to say. Uh, you know, regardless of whether Chris uh, accepts this challenge or not, you know, I'm likely going to compete no matter what next year. I do want my natural, uh, ideally WNBF uh, pro card next year. And, uh, you know, there's shows from April to August. There's multiple shows in that time frame that I'm considering doing. And I'm, I'm willing to talk and figure out what's best for both of us, Chris to see you know, which shows, where, you know, what might be the best thing uh, that'll fit best both for, for both of us with our families and all that. So, um, yeah, man, I think this is a fucking huge opportunity for us, for everyone who follows us to just fucking make YouTube great again, you know? 
<laughs> so, oh man. Will you guys help us make YouTube great again? Will you? I love you. Bye. Equip me, little bitch! Ogus cake!